Hello friends, how's it going? Today we are going to be touring an island by Zoo ACNH. One of our community members, Crystal, dropped it over on Discord and I was just immediately drawn in by how beautifully simple it is. I am kind of thinking of starting a brand new series on this channel where I start a brand new island. As you can see from this island theme, I do have a lot of castle walls everywhere, a lot of trees, very overgrown, and it's been so much fun doing it, but sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming, so what I'm kind of thinking of doing is just breaking it up a little bit by having another island where it's a lot more simple and um, hopefully this island that we're exploring today will do just that so yeah let's just actually go ahead and head over to my house so we can uh, get started on some island touring oh I already see the oranges oh my god I love what they did with the topiaries and the hedges on the sides around the resident services and um, wow this is so beautiful they have the tiniest little bit of detail that kind of just makes it feel very alive without having too much going on so if you want to visit the island the da is right there at the bottom they have hamlet b mallory spork rudy i love rudy cole maple tangy huck gaston and wow this map is so simple it's very flat and I'm loving that I'm seeing a little bit of terraforming toward the corner there, but not too much terraforming going on right now. This path is so cute. I also think they actually made their own path. So I'm gonna go ahead and just look in here in their custom designs portal and um, check it out really quick. All right, so yes, they did make their own path. They also have some sidewalks. <gasps> These picnic blankets are so cute. And I also really like the different colors that they have going on with this natural path and the leafy borders. They have this uh, little pattern with bread in it and these fallen tickets, chicken. <laughs> That's so cute. Looks like their island name might actually just be Nell. The grass is bright and green and I absolutely love how open everything is. They do have an orange airport, which is perfect for all the orange trees they have laid out. I can't explain it, but it's feeling very Animal Crossing 2020 very open space, um, a lot of trees, flowers, pops of orange everywhere. I love their usage of these bushes too. They're so good. Oh my god. The vibes of this island are incredible. I can already feel it. Oh wow, look at this little yard here on the side. This is so adorable. I have a little bunny here at the doorstep and um, a little table here. I thought this was maybe a chair for a second, but I think that is actually a table. And I love that they have this little like worn out path here, like a little beaten path um, just behind that fence there. I actually do want to take a look and see what they have going on inside of this villager's house. I don't know whose it is though, so we'll see. Oh, it's Spork's house. How sweet. It's so simple. Very cute, very fitting for this island. I really, really like it. So, so adorable. Sorry, Spork. <laughs> oh, I love using ants as an item too. It's such a good little trick to, to add into a space. Oh my gosh, look at this little picnic they have going on here. And this tiny dropped purse. It's a random little lamp. I love this code on their pillows. It's very vintage looking. <gasps> Wait a minute. I just realized this is meant to look like the painting of that house in the background oh my gosh that is actually genius i love little details like that it's also looking like this island is set in the summertime which is such good inspiration for me right now because for the next island i want to do i'm kind of thinking of not doing any like major time traveling and just sort of enjoying the summer for what it is because i never really play in the summertime and look at the summer weeds they're so pretty kind of looks like a little foxtail Oh, this is your little Able sisters. I love this path so much. I can't get over how windy and natural looking it is. I love the way they have this bunch of items with the crates, the barrels, the garden wagon, the little duck just kind of sitting there, and the, all the fruits. This is so, so beautiful. I actually really want to take a closer look and see how they've set up this entire area here with the um, Able sisters. And this little house next to it is so precious. Oh my God. 
They've got a little kitchen set up here at the outside and this is Bee's house. I absolutely adore Bee so much. She's one of my favorite Animal Crossing dreamies. I'm loving their usage of all the different kinds of fencing. They have the country fencing and the simple fencing. Kind of looks like maybe one of the Able sisters just sits here and like sews a little piece by this small pond they have over here. Very cute. I actually really like the way they've made that pond there. It's very tiny, but it's more of an idea of a pond rather than a fully waterscaped one. Do you remember those little horses you would ride as a kid and you just like drop the coin in? That's what this is. What a good idea. And then it's right next to this carousel and they've got some planks to just walk up into it and uh, have a little ride yourself. Their beaches are very, very simply decorated, but I actually just want to take a look and see what they've done here. So they have a little chess game by a laundry area. So cute. And I'm loving what they've done with the customization of that little piece of cloth on the table there. Oh, little sandcastle dick spot over here. And looks like they have some boats here with some packages. Ooh, this looks like it's part of another area. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of go back now. I'm gonna make my way around to what looks to be like an orange orchard. And oh my goodness. <gasps> Wow, look at these tables. Everything looks so delicious and so freshly made. The layering with all of the string party lights is everything. And I love the way they're alternating between just the simple hardwood tree next to the orange trees. So it kind of looks like some of them have been picked. It's actually not too many trees, maybe like a couple dozen trees or so just popped around in here. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling so, so inspired right now. This is stunning. Okay, I'm gonna walk up here behind this little area and the gnomes have these stalls. Again, with these partitions there, the wooden partitions on the back there just to divide all the weeds and the trees. A little piano going on there with the gnome. This is actually one of the prettiest setups I've ever seen. Then we're making our way over here into this flower field and it's just very, very delicately placed next to the river. I am in love. Oh my gosh, they have a little pumpkin just snuck up in there and the movement of the flowers ever so gently is very captivating here on the side. This island is so, so dreamy. I am obsessed with everything. And now we're gonna go across the bridge here on the right of the flower field. I'm just loving the transitions too. All of the items just feel like they're placed with purpose without taking up too much space at the same time. The layering of the trees in this bridge is just simply stunning and something about it is giving very Moomin vibes almost. I also love that the house is ever so slightly peeking through the trees there. This house is so precious. Little benches on the side with some books. They've got a little pumpkin garden just snuck up in there. I'm like actually just so in awe with the flow of everything. And again, they have a little beaten path, some villager houses just kind of stacked up next to each other. And the placing of the fencing is just so smart here. Love that there's a little garden door toward the back snuck up in there. Got some seating on the right, some flowers. Again, more carrots, little robot item. Kind of random, but at the same time, I feel like it matches really well with the house there. I'm gonna go inside the house first and then we'll continue around to the left side so we don't miss anything. Okay, so we have this warm toned orange room. I love the colors in here and I love how classic everything feels. All the furniture sort of has this uh, little bit of a modern retro look to it. So this is their kitchen again moving along with the orange theme. Love that. I also really like this big dining room table here where you can sit down and just have a little slice of pie with your friends. There's an orange on the counter, of course, because you have to make everything on this island with oranges. Wow, I've never seen this wallpaper before. I really, really like it. It's so nice. It kind of looks like a tropical orange resort. Little simple bed with some shoes placed on the side. Perfect amount of details. You've got a clock, little succulent plant next to your bed and a place to sit by the window to read a book. <gasps> Look at this bathroom. Feels like you're inside a 
very rainy and relaxing setting the pop of the wallpaper there with the garden on the side is just simply stunning and that lamp just adds more to that magical feeling from the wallpaper i love it so much it's very serene very peaceful relaxing definitely someplace i'd love to be right about now <sighs> look at that view wow it's very white in here. <laughs> oh, I love this setup here in the middle. I can picture myself just listening to a little piano music here on the side with a warm drink, looking out into the beautiful mountains. And then lastly, we have the basement to take a look at. So let's go ahead and just head in down there. <gasps> this is exactly what I was imagining in my mind. Like, I, yeah. Of course they have orange boxes everywhere because where else would they put it? And then they use the greenhouse wallpaper. Probably one of my favorite basement themes I've ever seen. I love that house. I loved how simple it was and how perfect everything was for the theme. And honestly, kind of unexpected in some of the rooms, but like in the best way. Oh, I just noticed a little skateboard here on the ground. And there is another villager house over here. So I do just want to quickly take a look and see what they have back here. It looks like there's another neighborhood. Wow, look at this field. So unexpected in the best way. How do they manage to make this look so giant in like a very, very small space? I'm just picturing myself enjoying the ocean view with a little afternoon tea. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed. Also a really great choice for the wheat field item. I really, really like how light green it is. And then they have the silos kind of stacked up here next to the house. This is so beautiful, so simple, but so, so well thought out. I'm obsessed. And then this windy path kind of just leads you toward the back of the secret beach. I love it so much. Let's make our way back around because I did see that there was this little dock on the side. And I'm kind of curious to see what they have over here. Oh, they have the truck with this um, little iron wood table to make it look like there's more orange deliveries. How genius. I love it. And their nook's cranny is just actually very fitting for this theme because it's got all the oranges. It's very bright and fun. I am just overwhelmed with how cute everything is. And then of course they have these little boats here. This really just goes to show you that you do not need a lot going on, on your island. You don't need all these fancy items. You don't need just all the noise. You can still make a huge impact just by being smart with the placement of your items. Wow. This transition is... I have no words. And these planks on the rocks back here look so real. And the way they blended the dirt path into the stone, oh my god, my brain is broken right now, you guys. The terraforming is breathtaking. I feel like they really, really did a great job of incorporating the back of the island into the island in the best way. Okay, I'm gonna sneak my way up here. Excuse me, Gaston. And it looks like this is their campsite area. Little lookout spot here. I'm almost feeling like I'm walking the wrong way, but you know what? I'm just going to go with it. They've got some waterfalls falling backwards into the back of the island. Okay, okay. Before I make my way down here, I'm actually seeing something very pretty. So I think I'm going to go all the way around that way. So this is what the campsite was leading into. And I am just, wow, so impressed right now with the laying of the trees, all the oranges. These little cubes are so well used too. It kind of looks like a little orange box, like a little gift box for the oranges. So you can give them out to friends or something. It feels like a farmer's market going on over here. Just to kind of give you guys the vibe, I'm gonna walk up here from there. Let me know in the comment down below what your favorite part of this island is and just what really inspires you about it because right now I'm feeling so inspired. Oh my gosh, look at the cascading waterfalls here on the left and more neighborhoods just layered up next to each other. The colors of the houses are also so beautiful. Very cool toned, but brown at the same time. Oh, this is leading up to the museum. Oh my God, look at the buttocks. And this garden is just very tiny, but the way they did it still feels very grand. Oh, there's a dig spot. They did such a good job with this dig spot. I actually want to take a closer look. Is that? Oh gosh, they have a big thing of poop right there. But you know what's crazy about it actually? Now I'm realizing that's actually meant to look like a like an accumulation of dirt instead of poop. 
Okay, I never thought I would say this, but I'm actually excited to use the poop. Over here, I have more picnics. And again, just more windy path. I love this little view as you walk up here with all of the trees kind of just lined up against the cliffs. I had no idea that we were next to the beach right now, y'all. I literally thought this was gonna continue on. This island feels so big. And then they have all these rocks on the peninsula. This is so smart. And then also the random little red picnic here on the side is just such a nice little pop of color among all the orangeness of the island. And I love that they, they kind of separated that from the beaten path into a dirt path here. I can't explain it, but as I walk around this island, I feel like I'm playing a different game as them. They're just doing this so well. Whenever someone asks me like what my favorite theme is, I simply cannot choose a favorite theme just because of the fact that people do things like this. It really just gets me every time. I feel emotional, okay? I just realized I did not have anything with me today. Hello, okay? I totally forgot to use my gifts, but now to make up for it, I'm going to eat a popsicle. We're not even done yet here, folks, so let's just keep going this way. And um, over here we see this little table display but then they have more of these tables oh my goodness you guys it looks like some sort of food festival or something take a little sip of my drink as i'm walking around i just want to see their little villager oh my god look at how cute they are all the seats the saplings on the ground oh my gosh the layering of all of the umbrellas back here is everything i actually did not come to this island knowing anything about it i just knew that it was going to be great and I trusted it and I decided to do a tour on it because I love just sharing my first impressions of exploring islands like these. It's so exciting every time and I always feel so much more inspired. Um, I'm really hoping that you guys are also feeling inspired by watching this to play a little Animal Crossing. I know now in 2024 it can get a little hard, everybody's just a little bit busier nowadays and of course this game hasn't really had many updates since 2021 and I'm loving the way everything's looking over here. Afternoon lunch after a long day of gardening very cute very nice thank you so much for watching this video and enjoying this stunning island with me i'm honestly so in awe with all of the beauty and whether or not you're into simple islands or maybe feel like you can't accomplish something beautiful i hope that this really was inspiring to you and showing that you really don't need all of the bells and whistles sometimes it really just takes a little bit of thought and love and can really create something very exciting so just be creative have fun don't overthink it please like this video if you want to see more island tours i would love to explore more of them with you guys it's always such a blast being able to just you know but wait what is luna doing back there it's always just such a good time being able to feel inspired find more islands and if you have any suggestions feel free to pop it into our discord i'll have a link for you guys down below subscribe for more and i will see you all again soon Thank you.